Well, as we've reported, many Muslims are concerned about how they are perceived after incidents like the failed bombing of Times Square. But there is a group in Alberta hoping to combat stereotypes. For the past five years, they've organized the Moskers. It's a film festival about Muslims in Alberta. And it's also billed as one of North America's biggest Muslim entertainment events. Adel Halim is in attendance at the Oasis Conference Centre in Edmonton. He brings us more. Adel? Binder, there are three categories this year, including drama, comedy and social concerts. Ten films were submitted, and as you can see behind me, the audience and judging panel are screening the films for the first time. Right now, they're watching video nominees in the comedy category, and earlier today, I had a chance to catch up with two filmmakers who are both nominated, and they're also Muslim and non-Muslim. I'm not doing a speed dating, man. Yeah, what the hell, man? What did you tell me? Sean Canungo is defending his title in the Oscars comedy category. He may not be Muslim, but the 25-year-old is passionate about Muslim issues. That's what he and longtime friend Fahad Sheikh feel this award show is all about. It's a great opportunity for me not only to, you know, kind of be exposed to more of a Muslim, uh, the, the Muslim culture, and um, it's been a really good ex experience the last couple of years, and I'm truly grateful for Fahad bringing me in. I'm Samir. And I have no game whatsoever. Last year, the pair won the Best Comedy Award for this film, Samir's 30 Days. The boys are back again this year with a new entry called The Mix-Up. But Sean says he's not feeling any pressure to defend his title. I don't want any trouble. You guys take whatever you want. Uh, nobody, nobody really knows me in the community, so it doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. So it's like, who is this guy? So uh, no, more pressure on Fahad, though, for sure. <laughs> but like his co-filmmaker, Fahad is taking it all in stride. He feels the Moskers delivers a bigger message beyond the big screen. The beauty of the Moskers is that it kind of integrates us into society type of thing, kind of gives people awareness. And uh, I mean, what better way to get a non-Muslim involved with it? I mean, that's how I look at it. And that's precisely the goal of the Moskers, says this organizer. The main objective is to decrease stereotypes and misconceptions about Islam and Muslims. and. Um, educate and uh, promote understanding at the same time. The mosque has also got a huge lift this year. It is now supported by the Center for Race and Culture, which organizers say will only make the festival bigger and better next year. And there are about 500 people in attendance here. I spoke with a man earlier this evening who said even though he's not Muslim, he thought it was important to come out and show support for the event nonetheless. And now the hardware is going to be handed out around 10 p.m., at which time Sean, Fahad, and all the other nominees will find out if their name is called. Binder? All right. Thanks for that, Adel. Looks like fun. That's Adel Halim reporting live on the Moscow.